So I think we have three people in the class. I know there's Mary, Placidia. Who is the other person? Viewer four. So can you write your name on the list? Can you change your name, please? It's appearing, it's showing here as viewers. And you see this viewer three, viewer one, viewer four. So if you could change your name, please. So that I can like call right, your name. You write our name now. Then you can write your name. Just change your name for now. You you are this you just you can just try and like change the name. So that I can know I can call you if I need to ask you. I know So I sent this to you. Like I told you, this is uh, the first section is normally the exam. They are 15 marks in section one, just like the one you would do. You have 15 marks in section one, then you are not allowed to use calculator. So you are not allowed to use calculator for the first section. So I, I want us to walk through the questions to walk. So okay, so this one is one more question. Then what is two thirds as a percentage? Give your answer to two decimal places. So what you know, I taught you this thing before. If you could remember, then if you are not in the class, you can check the video. So what you need to do is this. Just divide them um, two by three. You know, this is two. You divide it by three, you should be getting what? Like 0 0.66. To get in like recurring 6x. Then you can change it to what percentage? So when you want to change percentage, you want to buy by 100. So it's going to be 60. 6.6, .6. you can run this one to, there's two decimals, so it's going to be 6.7. So, that is how to do it. So, in case you don't have to do this small, this short division, what I did was, uh, let me see, maybe this is what they call in there, no. So, what I did was, like, I said, how many three can you find inside two? You know, that's zero. Because there's no that number there, you put decimal. How many three can you find inside 20? Six. Six. Then there's one, there's two, no, there's two. There's two. You continue to do it. I do give, continue to give you six, six, six. You continue to do it, six, 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 six. So from there, just multiply that number by 100. Then you get what, six, six, six point what? Point six, seven. Is that, what is 14% of 200? Do you get what is 14% of, uh, of 200? 20. So, 20. 20. Of 200. So, you say what? 28. 28. Who answered, sorry? Anne. Okay, Anne. Oh, sorry. You're the third person. I was asking us who is the listener. So, who answered? I got 28 here. Uh, I did 14 over 100 times 200. Times 200, you get it, then you go get 20 straight away. So what about this? You're going to have the old number together. Like yes. Two plus three, that's five. Five. And you find the setting, uh, the LCM of four, two and four, which is four. Which is four, mm -hmm. So you do yeah. this, four. three yeah. over four. Then, uh, so you change the same denominator, so which is going to be... Yeah. This one is two over four. Plus uh, three over four. Yeah. Just add it up together, that's gonna be what five over four. Yeah. So you can change this one to what? To one, 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 by, yeah, one over four. That's six one over four. Yeah, six one over four. That's it. That's true. If you if you struggle with anyone, they just ask me to wait. And I'm going to this, this, this. What is 75 as a fraction of 125? 
a simplest form. That's to simplify it. 75 as a fraction of 125. You put 75 yeah, out of 125. Yes. So you try and like do it to, you try, what's, what's, uh, what's it called? You can divide both sides by 5. Yeah. This one by 5. It's going to give you 15. Eh? This yeah. one by 5 gives you 25. You can yeah. still do it. This is the simplest form. You can still go further. So 5a is 3, and 5a is what? 5. It's 5. It's 5. You get it. So 5a is 25, 5a is 15, 5a is 3, 5a is 16. Who got, who understand that? Uh, plus, did you get it? Oh, yes, I did. So and this one too is a normal fraction. Can you do can you do this one for me, please? I want us to you know just make sure the time. Can you do this one for me, please? One over two minus say, two over seven. So first minus it out of the. No, you have to make sure that they uh, have the same. Yes. So the LCM, oh. you find it, you multiply it, which is fourteen. Yes. Yeah, then we turn to one. We go with to seven by fourteen. Then My fourteen minus two. That's four. That's is it ten over four? Ten over four. Then you put it to the nearest ten so, over fourteen. Sorry, sorry, hold on a sec. This one becomes uh, four, four over yeah. fourteen. So seven minus four is what? Uh, three. Over 14. Hello. Oh, this is the way. Maybe, maybe we are used to this method. It will say 7, sorry, 1 over 2 minus yeah. two over 7. They will now draw a line here. You see, two yeah, times. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one is the UK way. Two. Yeah. This is UK way. This is Nigerian way. Sorry. Uh, like, uh, but the best to this method, the second method is probably more beneficial because. Uh, do any one you do, just make sure that you know the most important thing is for you to get it right. So is it going to be like fourteen uh times one, which is fourteen, then no, 14. two is seven. Two is fourteen is uh, seven. Seven times one is what? Seven. Seven, then yeah, seven. yeah, yeah. Two times one That's is what? Let's go with four. Okay. So seven minus so, yeah. why did we multiply the the lowest thing? Uh, the reason is Why that you have to make sure, time for time you time to time. add fractions together, you have to make sure that they have the same denominator. Mm -hmm. Yes. I understand so, that, but why did we multiply? Yes. Yeah, so for this one now, can you see that 2 and 7, they are not the same. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to make sure that they are the same. Okay. So which, what is the common multiple between 2 and 7? They don't have the, any common... Eh? No, 14. 14. 14. Yes. Yeah. Why is it common? Yeah, because 2 goes in... Uh, because 2 goes eight, into 14 and 7 14, times. 7 goes to 7. 14. 7 goes into 14. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's it. Because they are multiples. You have 14 in 2 times tables. You have 14 in 7 times tables. Mm. That is it. So that's why we have to like, make sure that they are... They have the same denominator, so from there we can figure, we can now add it together. So I, so I, when I change it to 14, for, for me to change 2 to 14, I have to multiply by 7. So 7 okay. times 2, 14, 7 times 1 is what? 7. Can you see? So I okay. transform this yeah. fraction, fourth fraction to this. And this yeah. one, too, to that, that's it. Okay. So this one said 8 plus 2 times this. So what, you have to do bit mass for this one. So you have to do the multiplication first. Two times six. Okay. This answer is twelve. Twelve plus uh, eight. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. It will be twenty squared. Twenty squared means what? Twenty times twenty. Twenty times twenty. Do you get it? So what is twenty times twenty? About four hundred. Four hundred. Yes. Just do two times two, which is four. Then how many zeros are there? One, two. That's all. That's all. So this is a very common question, call substitution. That what's the value of three a b if a is five and b is six? So what they're telling you here is that any anywhere you see a, you put five there. 
and anywhere you see a B, you will put six there. So it's not going to be three times five times six. Five times six is what? 30. 30 times Nancy. three is going to give you what? 90. That's the answer. Nancy. That's it. Just okay. change the letters to the number they gave you. That's a simple one. <laughs> no, it's uh, going to be as this. But the issue with uh, yours is that they can say, that, oh, the formula is this. If a, you guys, they, they will write, it's going to be, they will word it. It's just a way that you won't, you will probably be confused or actually what they are saying. Uh, this question is not very common. <laughs> they will ask you to find, they will ask you to find the, what is it called, this angle. What is the sum of angle in a triangle? Um, 180. 180. Uh, it's not the area, Placidia. Uh, huh? You are talking about the. Yeah, well, I, I heard you saying half something. Yeah. Okay, half is uh, the, the area. The area height. of the yeah. half base times height. But the sum of yeah. angles in a triangle is 180. It's 180. Okay. All angles in the triangle add up to 180. So you have to know that for this and this with this must add up to 180. Just add 30 plus 80. What's that? 110. 110. Now do 180 minus 110. Okay. That's 70. This is normally one mark question too in your exam. No, hey, you have to show this working. It's going to be two marks. You have to show this working out. Okay. So that you won't, uh, you have to show the working out there. So that's some I'm going to actually just uh, try and skip. So I want us to do this question. Can you try this question? It's a very common one. This question 11. Sorry, question yeah, 11. Okay. Yes. Calculation. Yeah, it's calculation. This is about uh, say how many petrols is needed. You get when you say. So it's a proper calculation question. I want you to try it. Okay, so if I'm going to do it in the way I'm thinking about it, I'm going to divide the 60 into that fourth this thing, then times it times 360. Yes, you have to know what you need to do is this. So a car travels 480 miles on a full tank. Yeah. So a tank holds six liters. So that means that this meters could travel what? 480 miles. Yeah. So the driver fills the tank and sets off a journey. How many liters of petrol will be left in the car uh, left when the car travels 360 miles? What you need to do is this. How long does it take? If this one is 60 and this one is 480, so how long, how, how many petrol do you think is going to travel for? So how long, how, yeah, how that, many liters? He's using 60 for 480 miles. So yeah, you want no, to so 60 for 480, 60 for 480. Yeah. You get it. So what about when you when what about when you divide to just to find one liter? Yes. You have to divide for well done. Divide four eighty by sixty. Yeah. That's what, what I said. Oh I was too sorry. That's what I said. I said we'll divide the the I, I thought you said divide it three sixty. No, I said divide four eighty by sixty, then times it by three sixty. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying dividing by 360, sorry. I mean, I think no. I figured it was, sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> what is 40 divided by 60? It's 8. Yes. Yes, it's 8. It's 8 miles. There you now do. So, it's 8 miles now. And how many that will be actually be left? So, what you have to do is that how many that do you think is going to use to cover this one? Then you times it. No, you have to know it's eight miles. That's covering one liter. So mm -hmm. you have to three sixty. What's three sixty divided by eight? Yeah. Hmm. Good. Now, why is it dividing by eight now? You no, know, for example, that you want to know how many liters because one liter we use for eight miles, and the journey okay. is three hundred sixty miles. 
So we want to know how many mm-hmm. liters is going to, it can actually use to cover 360. 45 liters. <laughs> it's going to be 45. When you divide that way, it's going to be 45. Well, yeah. well, it doesn't make sense to me that you're using eight miles to divide. So look, for example, now, look at it now. This is, this is, this okay, you're yeah, dividing the miles by eight to give yes. you each liter of. Okay, yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it's to 45. Give you each liter. Yeah, it's 45. So yeah, yeah so let's use what? 45 liters for this journey. He said, how many liters will be left after this journey? And it's 60 before. Just say 60 minus 45. That's going to be 15. That's all. Sorry, you say 60 minus what? 45? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is a prize for our probability question. We covered this too. The probably that a salesperson will get an order from a visit to a customer is one over four. She has two visits tomorrow. What's the probability that she will she will get orders from both from both uh, visits tomorrow? So, what I ask to approach this question? Placidia, you should be this. Placidia, you can do this question, Placidia. Yeah. <laughs> if, for example, now, if the, the parties don't get order, you give this one over four, and how he wants to get two orders, so what will you do? One over four means from. Um... He's getting order to give it from one customer. So then, yeah. what's going to be to get. That's one out of four customers. What? Yeah, uh-huh. So that was probably that, that you get order visits. from both customers. Two over eight now. You know. That no. each day she has four customers, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 use it now. So if you say that the probability of actually getting customer, uh, visit, uh, getting order from one customer is one over four. That's the first day. So they say that, uh, what's it called? That's the, for the first visit. Second visit is also what? One over four. So you now multiply it together. So it goes one over eight. That's all. Give your answer as a fraction in simplest form. That's one over eight. So the first one is uh, this number by one. Yeah. Two visits. I thought you meant two days. Okay, two visits. Two visits. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to really? yeah. No Meet time to think about what the question is saying. That's what makes the time run out. Yes, you have to be. You have to understand what the question is saying for you to approach yeah. it. Because a lot of people dive into it without proper understanding actually what he's saying. So you need to be able to understand it. So what's the median for this one now? No median is when you arrange numbers in order and you find the median number. Here's a very common question, please. Find the median. Can the can the media be one point one point five? It can be one point five. Be the number when you have arranged in order. So, for example, now, so what's going to be two number left? Yeah, uh, you have to add it together, divided by two. Yeah. One. 
46, 23. You took it too long? Oh, I will say this 23. Isn't okay. It? Okay, so I didn't hear you. So someone will someone say it was 1.5. So that's the reason why I had to like, wait for them to actually do it again. So what did I'm you do? I'm doing the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm doing the wrong one. Okay. So what did you do, Placidia? You said it's 23. No, I just aligned them. And the numbers in the middle is 23 and 23. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 I just... <laughs> I didn't use it if I to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm writing it out now just to check. Is that what? 22. Uh, so let's... Uh... No, no, sorry. Is that what? No, no, don't worry. It's not right. So this is about scale now. We did scale to when we're doing ratios. So the map is this. I do perceive that it's very good at this thing. Is that the... The distance between two villages we gave on the map is uh, at mayor 6.2. The map has a scale of this, of one centimeter represents what? 25,000 uh, centimeter. So the actual distance between two villages is in kilometers. Give it to two decimal places. So the scale is this now. You said what? You're still on the median screen. Uh-uh. I've moved you know on. the num the median screen. You're still on the median screen. It's not yeah, more. Yeah, well, the, the two median numbers is twenty two and twenty three, and we added it together and we divided it. That's gonna be twenty. Be so twenty two point five. Mhm. Mm not twenty. I'm just let me, hold on a sec. Let me see because I've already moved the screen on. I don't know why he's uh, still that he's still saying that. Uh, I've already moved it. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's, because I, I'm using two different things, so okay, yeah, I'm going to reshare it now. What did you say is the media number? 22.5. How did you get 22.5? So you added okay, 20, 22 sorry. plus 23 is mm -hmm. 45. Yes. So 45 divided by 2 is 22.5. Yes. Why am I not getting it? Maybe you didn't, you didn't do it properly. Because we're I supposed to it. arrange all the numbers in ascending order. Yeah. yeah. And there are eight Which is numbers. 5, 16, 18.5, yeah. 20, 22, 23, 23, 23, 36. Okay, there's a 20 there. I, mean, I didn't have a 20 in my mind. So, so okay. mine is saying 11. Because it's 22. If like there's a 20, number. if there's a 20, then it's not, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's 8, nine, 9. Yeah. It's 9 numbers, not 8. Which means 22 was correct. Yeah. It's One, a, two, three, four, hold on a sec. Because uh, I'm trying to get this thing to load. I don't know why the screen is not... Uh, Yeah, I stop this here now. Let me see. This should be coming up now. So what's what's appearing on your screen? Is it blank? Yeah. 
Mm-mm. It's blank. Oh, my God. Like, um... You don't want to answer. Sorry, before you refer that one out, do you know the median? Is it the center number divided by two? No, you have to arrange it in order. No, just the center number. Yeah, I've arranged it. Which is 22. me 22. Yes. Yes, it's 22. Correct. If you arrange it in order and you have two numbers at the center, you will add the two numbers together, then you divide it by yeah. two. But if you have only one number at the center, you just pick that number. Yeah, it's 22 then. You get it now. It's actually it's 22. So uh, I think uh, I just want to try and, I mean, I want to see maybe I could, uh, you know, this thing was like, it's strange. I don't know what's wrong with the, with the meat, just uh, stick and stick and show you guys. Oh. 